Jackson Parlay family, it's me, Detroit Lenny here. Talk a little MLB action for Saturday, August 24th. Brought Terry Edelman and Jackie Mack along with me to talk some baseball. Uh, you guys like, share, subscribe. If you haven't already, get involved with the Picks and Parlay channel. The YouTube channel is at 49,000 something subscribers. We're almost at 50,000. That's the goal here. Promo code LENNY20 saves you 20% off your entire Picks and Parlays purchase at picksandparlays.net. Jackie Max going to start us off here with the Nationals and the Braves. Braves, big favorite, minus 180. Totals at eight and a half. What are your thoughts on this matchup, Jackie? Where are you, where are you going with this one? Well, Morton's got an ERA of uh, 5.34, and he's 6-8 and eight versus the Nationals, and he's got a home whip of 1.35 this season. And even though he's pitched better in his last two starts, he does struggle against Washington, and he did lose his last start this season. Now, Washington is hitting a little bit better. Their bullpen is improving a little bit. Uh, also, Atlanta's offense, a little hit and miss right now. And they're going up against Jake Irvin, who's pitched well in his last several starts, and as well against some of the better teams uh, on the road, like Philly and Baltimore, winning those rows starts. Now, the Braves are just one in five straight up in their last six as a home favorite. But Washington has won their last four or five in Atlanta. So they're just such a, so, I'm sorry, they're just such a juicy dog. Say that fast <laughs> three times. I've got to take this dog in this spot. I just think they have a good chance of winning. That's fair. Listen, no matter how many times you want to say it, how many times you want to say it fast, either way, she likes yes. a dog here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nationals on the money line, plus 150, we're going to ride. Diamondbacks and the Red Sox. Red Sox slight favorite, minus 112, totals at nine and a half. Terry Edelman, what are your thoughts on this one? Now, well, normally I give out two props, but today I'm switching things up a little bit because uh, there is one bet that I really like in this game here uh, between Arizona and Boston. Uh, so it's supposed to be a Cutter Crawford on the mound here. Uh, for Boston, uh, and it has not uh, been pretty for him recently. Three and three over his last seven starts with a 7.18 ERA. Uh, he has uh, got absolutely shelled his last six starts. 21 hits, 29 runs, and 14 home runs allowed. Hmm. He has been getting smashed. This Arizona team comes in here having scored at least seven runs in three of their last four games. Uh, I'm taking them on a team total here over four and a half. Um, I think they get this in the first five innings, uh, but this is a full game team total, four and a half. Uh, I love it here. Uh, the Look Diamondbacks Terry, have been playing really well. Yeah, I like, and they have too. And I like that team total over four and a half, calling a shot a little bit on the, on the first five over. This is a no sweat bet from Terry Edelman here. Guys, don't forget, like, share, subscribe. As always, promo code LENNY20 saves you 20% off picksandparlays.net. Get yourself in on these guys' college football plays. NFL package is available, picksandparlays.net. Get over there. Uh, Terry Edelman, we're going to go right back to you with the Rays and the Dodgers. Dodgers' big favorite. Totals at 8.5. What are your thoughts, Terry? Yeah, here in this one, we have Tampa Bay obviously facing the Dodgers here. And Taj Bradley on the mound for the Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, and if you turn back time about a month ago, uh, Bradley was absolutely lights out. Nobody could hit anything off him. Uh, he was um, shutting everyone down. Uh, however, uh, in the month of August, uh, he's got an 8.40 ERA in three starts. He has been getting hit badly. Uh, and now he has to face this uh, Dodgers lineup. Uh, which is definitely starting to click more uh, with Mookie Betts back. Uh, but not taking Mookie Betts here. We're going to go with Gavin Lux over one and a half bases. Uh, he has done that in seven of his last nine games heading into Friday night. A home run in two of his last three games. So hitting the ball really well. Uh, and I was going to face a struggling pitcher. So I like uh, Gavin Lux over one and a half bases. This should be around plus 140, plus 150, somewhere like that. It should be good plus money here for this one. There you have it. Shop your lines, plus 140, plus 150. 
Dodgers, Gavin Lux over bases from Terry Edelman. Now, Jackie Max got a total for us in the Mets and the Padres. Totals at seven and a half. What are your thoughts, Jackie? Well, we've got two good pitchers here in Peterson and Michael King, both pitching really well. Uh, both haven't given up much in several starts. Peterson did have two starts versus the Padres, and both of those games stayed under the total. King has also pitched to the under for most of the season, and he's very comfortable at home in the spot. I just think uh, runs are going to be scarce in this game as we have a bit of a pitcher's duel going on. And these two have gone under in seven of their last 10 games. And the Mets have also gone under nine of their last 12 when their opponent hits five or more runs in their previous game, which happened uh, the other day. So I'm going to have to lean under in this one. I can see that. I like that Mets and the Padres under seven and a half from Jackie. Uh, let's give you guys a quick recap while you guys like, share, subscribe. Let me pull everybody in here. We're going to go through this as quickly as I can, so bear with me here. Jackie likes sidewise Nationals money line plus money action from Jackie Mack, and I love it. We're going to take the Nats on the money line Saturday and also Mets Padres under seven and a half. For the later game, Terry Edelman's got a team total for us. Arizona Diamondbacks team total over four and a half. And he also likes Gavin Lux from the Dodgers over one and a half bases on Saturday. That's your Saturday rundown for some MLB action. Good luck unless you're against us, folks. Thanks for watching.